Please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon. Today we will look at how to be a good little girl or boy. The effect of telling lies. When you want to get away with something or you want to get something or when you have taken something, you tell a small lie or you forgot to take something, bring something. What happens when you tell a lie? Somebody will find out either at home or at school or among friends, then you may have to cover up one lie with several other. So the tension of telling a lie how to avoid that we are going to do. I must not tell lies. Telling lies again is a bad habit. Why do you tell lies? To get away from some small punishment, verbal punishment or in the classroom small admonishment which you don't want to take it. But with, to avoid that you tell lies. For example, posting the teacher read the assignment submit today. You go to class, you have not done the assignment, you didn't bring it to school either and when the teacher questions you, you say, I completed, I left it in the house, I will bring it tomorrow. Then when you come, such Actually, you have not done it. So, owning up, saying, okay, I did not do my homework. I did not complete my assignment. I did not bring the book. But not to say, I did it and left it at home. So, what we are learning today, what we are looking at today is, I, a little girl or boy, you must see that I do not allow in any situation, cultivating the habit of not telling a lie, always telling the truth and thus having a free mind, not tension mind. Okay? And that is what we are going to look at. We must all be good children. So, I must not tell lies. I must not tell lies. Lying. If you get into the habit of telling lie, then you will bear a name, you will collect a name, liar. And they will call you liar, liar, lipstick, born on a broomstick, all this stuff they will call you. Why you want to be a liar? Now, first of all, when you say, when you do something in your house, mommy says, do not take this from the house. Do not take it outside. But then you take it. Disobeying mommy in the house will be the first thing. Again, I am telling you, all good habits are cultivated in the house. Mommy helps you. Your siblings help you. So, I must not tell lies. Now, if I take something of this for yourself, she looks at it, you don't find, she does not find, did you take it? No, I did not, is the first answer. Why? Because of fear, frightened. If you had said, no, I took it, my here it is. So, when you do not own up, you will tell more lies, then you will take that piece of article, keep it elsewhere and all kinds of thing goes in the mind, bad planning goes in the mind. As a result, your studies get affected. So, what we are talking first is, I must not tell lies if I take something of mother's from home. Okay? I must not tell lies. If I take, you are taking, I take something 
I take something from home, say. I must not tell lies if I take something from home. The mommy says, don't take this outside the home. Don't take my things. They are valuable. But you take it. And when mommy asks, you say, no, no, I didn't take it. Then you realize you cannot take it out, so out of the house. Then you place it somewhere. Then you are planning where to keep it. So that mother can see all kinds of problems. Supposing you say you took some money. And mommy says, where is the money I kept here? I don't know. Maybe he took. He took. Maybe you dropped it. And all kinds. So, spoiling your mind. Your mind is to be kept happy. Your mind is to be utilized for learning. So, obedience in the house to mommy and daddy will help you not to tell lies. Just obey them. It is difficult. So, I must not tell lies if I take something from home. Maybe an article, maybe money, maybe anything. Another thing, I must not tell lies if it is for it is not good manners. I must not tell lies. Why? The lies is not a good habit. Not, no, okay? Not good manners. So, I must not tell lies because it is not good manners. You practice good manners? This is one of them, not telling lies. One of the things, when you don't tell lies, you look so happy and everybody will like you. So, it is not good manners at all for small frivolous things to say, tell a lie. Remember, you tell one lie, you cover it up with several and then you get caught punished. Then, I must not tell lies after telling lies, I will feel ashamed. You feel bad, you feel shame within you. Better to avoid telling lies. So, I must not tell lies because I will feel, the feeling is very important, I will feel ashamed when found out, I feel ashamed when found out, or found out, what do they find out? I feel ashamed when found, others Mind that I have told a lie, then you don't feel good inside you at all. So I must not tell lies. If I take something from home, say, Mommy, I'm sorry. Immediately say, I'm sorry. I took it. I did it. I took that money. I took that item. I took this precious thing. Sorry. Then I must not tell lies because it is not manners. Practicing good manners is in the house with a help of mom and dad. So, practice good manners by not telling lies. I must not tell lies because I will feel ashamed when found out. When found. Somebody will find. So, definitely they and then you feel good at it. So, I must practice not telling lies at home, with parents and siblings. I must not tell lies when I take money or things from home. Immediately, when you feel, when mommy is looking for it, when she asks you immediately, mommy, I am sorry, daddy, I am sorry, or tell your brother, I am sorry, I took it, I did it. Then you feel comfortable, you feel relieved. I must not tell lies because it is not good manners. Telling lies. Telling lies. Getting into the habit of telling lies is cultivating a bad habit. That means you are forgetting your manners. Mommy will always say, mind your manners, don't forget, don't tell lies, be a good little girl or boy. 
I must not tell lies because I will feel ashamed when found out by others. Then I get caught. Then I feel I have to explain myself and it is a big problem. So, I must not tell lies because I will not be liked by others when found out. So, then you tell a lie, others will come to know about it, your mummy will know, your siblings will know, your friend, then you will not be liked by others. So, I must not tell lies because I will not be liked by others because I will, I will not be liked by others. Everyone likes a nice person with manners who never tell lies, but a liar nobody likes. So, I will not be liked by others. When you say others, it can be friends, it can be school classmate, can be people in the house, anyone. So, I must not tell lies because if I tell lie and others come to know, then I will not be liked by others. And the next time when someone has taken something, they will think you have done it because you already told lie once. So, be careful. Think in your mind, what do you want to be? Do you want to be a child with good manners, not telling lies? Always, always speak the truth. Now, I must not tell lies because nobody will believe even if you tell the truth the next time. If you tell lie once, nobody will believe you the next time even if you say the truth, they will have a, a small doubt. Is it he? Is it she? So, I must not tell lies because nobody will believe me because no one, no one will believe me, believe me even if I tell the truth, even if I tell the truth. Once you tell a lie, doubt will remain in the mind of friends, teacher, siblings, parents. Did you? You are sure you did not? You are sure you did not take it? You are sure you are telling the truth? So, the doubt arises in the mind. So, to avoid that, you must tell yourself, I must not tell lies. I will be a good little girl, I will be a good little boy. I will speak the truth always. I will have good manners, practice the good manners and speak the truth. So, I must not tell lies. If I take money or any item from the house to take it outside, if I do so, immediately I say, sorry mama, it is me, I have done it. I must not tell lies because it is not good manners to tell lies. It is not becoming of a little growing up girl or boy to tell a lie. I must not tell lies because I will feel ashamed when caught, when others find out, then I won't feel good at all. I must not tell lies because I will not be liked by everyone. They won't like you, they will have a question mark in their mind. Has she told lies? Is she telling the truth? Okay. I must not tell lies because no one will believe me even if I tell the truth. So, if you have told lies couple of times, then you become a small liar. Then people, friends, classmates begin to disbelieve what you say even if you are telling the truth. So, always remember your feelings are very important. What you feel? must always feel good within you. When you want to do something wrong, there is a feeling within you telling, do not do it, follow your feeling. Now, I must not tell lies because it will lead me into big problems. 
I must not tell lies because by telling a lie, it will lead me, it will end me up in big problem, it will end up in big, in a big problem. If you do not own it up, if you tell a lie, you can end up that small problem into big. Another thing is, when you tell a small lie one, twice, many times and you grow up and you do not accept anybody's correction, so you grow up to be a small liar and the small liars become big robbers. That is why at the police station, what do the policemen do? He will say, come darling, no, he will beat you nicely to make you say the truth. So, as a little girl or boy, we have to cultivate in our home. We have to cultivate in our school, listen to our teachers and leaders to speak the truth. So that if I do not tell, if I do not speak the truth always, then it will end me up in big problems. So I must tell, I must not tell lies at all, whatever happens. People say in the class, I think she did it because I saw her coming, going. Why you want to give explanation? Do not get into trouble, speak the minimum, do not exaggerate stories and create problem in the house, in the school and make it a big issue. I must not tell lies because my classmates and friends will not like it. If you say something bad about one, one of the friends, or you say something, they have done it, they will not like you. They will, then you will lose friends. They will not allow you in the circle. So, I must not tell lies because my friends, I must not tell lies because my classmates, my friends, my classmates, and friends will not like it. And friends, what will the friends do? Classmates and friends will not like it. Will not like. Like what? Like you telling lies about them or about something. I must not tell lies. Especially when you are among the friends and you say, no, I saw, I think she took it. When you put small blame on others and that person not, and done it, then what happened? Your friends will say, oh, she is making up stories, she is telling small lies. I think we leave her off because there will be problem in our circle of friends. So, in the class, they will segregate you. Outside the class, the friend, they will say, no, 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 we won't join her. We won't have her in our circle. So, we must be careful. So, I must not tell lies because my parents have faith in me because they believe me. So, I must keep up the belief, trust they have in me. I must not tell lies because because my parents have trust in me because my parents have trust in me, they trust me, trust, they trust me to speak the truth always. My parents have trust in me and I have to keep up that trust. Now look at that, I must not tell lies because my parents have trust in me. They know, oh, I am a child. I will not tell a lie at any cost, at any time. I will not tell lies at any cost, at any time. So, you must keep up the faith, the trust the parents have in you. They have great faith in you. You are a good little girl, you are a good little boy and you won't tell lies. So, now look at all the things that we have spoken about. 
we are trying to make ourselves little boy and girl to be good mannered little girl and boy who will always stand up for the truth and speak the truth only why because parents love us they have great regard trust believe in us i know she will not tell a lie i know she will not tell a always speak the truth so i must not tell lies if supposing by mistake i take something or money or thing from home i must admit immediately and say i'm sorry mama i've done it then you feel very good after that i must not tell lies because it is not good manners to tell lies must always speak the truth i must not tell lies because i will feel ashamed when i am caught i spoken to someone about something and that's a big lie and when found out i feel very ashamed so i must decline from telling lies i must not tell lies because i will not be liked by others person who tell lies is not liked not loved in the company i must not tell lies because no one will believe me even if i speak the truth once you have told lies several times and they know you will tell lies but so in some occasion you say the truth but then even if you tell the truth they will not believe you so we have to safeguard ourselves and say i will speak the truth always i must not tell lies because it will end up in big problem if i tell a lie in the house or in the class or among friend i tell one lie then i cover it up with several lies finally the things come out you are caught and then you feel so bad so you the you are collecting big problem so i must not tell lies because because it will end up in big problem i must not tell lies because my classmates and friends will not like me because of the lie i said they will not love me they will not believe in me they will lose all trust in me i must not tell lies because my parents have trust in me my parents have great regard for me they believe i will not tell a lie she is a good child i know whatever happened she will tell the truth so we must support our parents in the belief the trust that they have in us and i say i am not going to tell a lie whatever happen i will remain a good little girl with good manners never telling a lie telling lies is not a good habit telling lies will earn you a bad name surely you do not want a bad name so i must not tell lies i must not tell lies to get a bad name now you tell a lie you tell a lie because you don't want somebody else to get so what you do you tell some lies to get a good name for yourself but that so i must not tell lies to get a good name a good name in a group in the group among the group of friends you want to be you want to earn yourself a big big leader good name good girl but by a wrong means by telling a lie so when you tell a lie and get a good name for yourself finally what is the result the end result is you get a bad name what is the bad name liar she is a big liar he is a big liar so the group finally rewards you with a bad name for placing yourself like as though good person okay so i must not tell lies if i take something from someone in the school in the class i must not tell lies 
if I happen to take something from someone in the class. So, I must not tell lies. I must own it up. If I take something, if I take something that does not belong to me from the class, if I take something that does not belong to me, that does not belong to me. If I take something that does not belong to me from the class, from my classmate, that too, without asking permission, you do not ask and you take it and you will definitely tell lies to cover it up. So, I must not tell lies, if I take something by mistake that does not belong to me from my classmates in the class. When you know you have done it, say I am sorry if I took it by mistake, sorry. Own it up, otherwise that will end you in trouble. So, I must not tell lies to earn a good name that will crash. I must not tell lies, if I take something that does not belong to me from my classmate or classroom, you must own it up and say, I am sorry, I done it by mistake, I took it by mistake, here, I will not do it again. Then when you do it sincerely, your classmate will say, wow, we can trust her next time. I must not tell lies. If I misplaced something, okay, I, you are misplaced, but you say, no, I kept it here, yes, somebody took it. That means, you are putting blame on somebody else. So, I must not tell lies and blame someone if I misplaced. When you misplace, when, if I misplace something, I misplace something elsewhere. Okay. Okay. So, you brought something valuable and you think you left it on the table, but you are actually left it elsewhere. But then you say, No, I left it here. Some of one of you, some of you, any one of you would have taken it. That means you are putting the blame on your friends or classmates, but forgetting where you place. So, if I misplace something elsewhere, you are kept somewhere, but then you, it is elsewhere, but you blame. Then when you do that, no, 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 I kept it here. When you categorically say something, you are telling lies, others will not like you. So, we must be careful of what we say without thinking correctly where you left what. If I, I must not tell lies, if I break something at home or at school, I must not tell lies, if I happen to, if I break something at home or at school at home or at school. If you break something, own it up. I am sorry. No, she did it. No, I did not do it. It broke by itself. When you say like that, within you, you know you did it. So, I must not tell lies. If I break something in the house or at home, say, I am sorry, it was my mistake. I pushed it down, my elbow touched, it broke. It is me. Sorry. Maybe I will replace it. So, owning up, immediately say, I am sorry, I did it. Now, I must not tell lies. If mommy find out that I borrowed something from someone, you are borrowed. Mommy says, never borrow. You ask me, what do you want, I will give you. So, I must not tell lies to my mommy. Okay? I must not tell lies if 
I have borrowed. If I have borrowed something from someone, borrowed something from someone, and mommy doesn't like it, okay? Because borrowing is not a good habit. Never borrow and never lend. If you lend, it will be lost. You borrow from somebody and that person will be anxious to get it back. So never borrow. Now in the house, mommy lays down rule. When you need something, you ask me. Don't go to the neighbor and ask. Don't go to your friends and ask. Mommy says, no, it's a bad habit to borrow. Never borrow. Okay, so now, you must not tell lies when you have borrowed something from someone because mommy doesn't like it. Because if it is too valuable and if it is broken, if it is lost, replace, waste of money. So always remember to listen to mommy. Mommy knows what is breast. In the class, normally, children don't like to be caught in the classroom. So what do you do? You will tell a lie. Teacher says, the assignment has to be completed tomorrow. And then you are busy with everything else, but your own little homework, and you end up in the class not done, then everybody gives up the assignment. There you are standing up. Teacher will ask. Where is your homework, Bina? Ma'am, I did it. I left it in the house telling lies. So, I must not tell lies when I have not done the work. Huh? When I have not done the work, you are telling lies. So, I must not tell the lie, tell a lie if I have not completed my work. So, I must not tell lies in the class to the teacher if I have not, I have not done my work, done my work. Own it up. Say sorry, ma'am, I did not do my homework. Don't say I did it and left in the house. I never did it, I am sorry, I will do the next day. So I must not tell lies. And try to get away. I must not tell lies in the class to the teacher or to mommy when you did not, when you do not attend the class. Sometimes you like to be away from the class. Say you like to go for games or you could like to go sit in the computer room or library, but the teacher will ask, where were you? You did not attend the class or the principal will ask you, where were you in the seventh period when you should have been in your English class? Where were you? So don't tell lies. So I must not tell lies when I do not attend a certain class. So I must not tell lies when I do not attend a class. That means you should not skip class. You should not be sitting elsewhere doing mischief and say, no, no, I had this work, I was completing this, I was doing this. I must not tell lies when I do not want to go to school. You have done something in the class, you have done, said something to someone, you have caused a small little problem in the school. Then you tell mommy, mommy, I think I have a headache. I must not tell lies to go to school, to go to class. Then finally, mommy find out, it's not your headache, it's not that you are not well, you are done or said something at home. So, immediately say, mommy, actually I am thinking I am having headache, I have said this, I have done this in the school, so that is why I want to refrain from going to school. So, I must not tell lies, when you don't want to go to school, Tell the correct reason, the real reason. 
Now, I must not tell about my neighbors. Make up lies, make up stories about the neighbors. I must not tell lies about the neighbors to others. That will end up in family problem, end up in lots of confusion. So you must tell yourself, no, it's not a good habit. Cultivating, calling, making up stories, writing stories is a very good skill, but making up wrong stories is definitely not a good habit. It is not, I must not tell lies and falsely accuse my friends, making up false stories about my friends. So, making up stories about neighbor, causing trouble between family, making stories falsely accusing my friends also as a kind of lie. So, we are, what are we trying to learn today? We are trying to tell ourselves, I have mommy and daddy who have great faith in me. I must grow up to be a little girl and a little boy, always speaking the truth. She must tell grandpa, uncles and aunts. My girl will never tell a lie. This little boy, oh, is such a good boy. He will always speak the truth. And that's the trust parents have in us. Therefore, I must not tell lies to get a good name in the circle of friends. Say something so that you get a falsely accuse someone to get a good name. Finally, you end up collecting a bad name. I must not tell lies if I take something that does not belong to me from the class. Say, sorry, here, yeah, I took it. I needed this to do this work. I'm sorry, here, yeah, it's yours, please have it. So they begin to trust you. I must not tell lies if I misplace something elsewhere and then say, no, I kept it here, somebody took it, one of you took it. You're falsely accusing someone in the circle of friends. Definitely they will not like you because they never did it. Always think before you speak. I must not tell lies if I break something at home or in the class or you went to a party somewhere by mistake in your excitement, you happen to break something, own it up. I did it, sorry, I broke it, I will replace it. Never tell a lie. I must not tell lies if I have borrowed something from someone. Mommy doesn't like me. Daddy doesn't like me to borrow anything, whether books or things or money. So, if you happen to borrow in an emergency, tell mommy, I'm sorry, you know, I should not do, I did it, I'm sorry. So, I must not tell lies. If I have not done my homework in the class, own it up and say, sorry miss, I did do it, I'll do so the next time. Now, I must not tell lies to my parents when I do not want to go to school. You have done something, you said something in the school, you don't want to attend school, then you say, I got a headache, I got a tummy pain. You must not tell lies. Tell mommy, I'm sorry mommy, this is what I said, this is what I did. I must not tell lies when I do not attend a class. Instead of sitting in the class, you go and sit elsewhere, go into the playground or sit in the computer room or you go to the library and hide yourself or do mischief. Then you are caught by the principal and asked, where were you? You must say, I am sorry, I didn't attend the class, I was here, I was doing this. Okay. Then, I must not tell lies causing neighbors, causing problem with the neighbors by making up stories. Always learn to write creative writing, not imagine stories about neighbors and tell mommy and uh, causing a lot of trouble. Then, I must not tell lies and falsely accuse my friends. Imagining, keep your mind clean, read something, keep your mind calm, tell yourself good manners to tell, tell the truth. My parents have faith in me, my teachers are helping me, so I must not tell lies, I must speak the truth always.